Hello and welcome to tonight's edition of uh, the Evening Review. My name is Toyvon Jabela, your host for tonight. Uh, let's quickly look at today's front page of Namibian Sun. Tonight, uh, we are joined in the studio by uh, Major General Charles Namolo, who is uh, a former plan chief of staff uh, during Namibia's liberation struggle, uh, to talk to us about particularly the events of 1 April, uh, or what one, the 1st of April means in the liberation struggle uh, of Swapo. Uh, General, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Yes. Why is it, um, what are the, wh why is the 1st of April so important, so important in the context of the Swapo liberation struggle? Well, uh, first and foremost, 1st April uh, has got two very important events which yeah. happened on that very date called the 1st April. Yeah. It's a fool's day, but this <laughs> important uh, <laughs> events which happened were not the uh, fools. Yes. Uh, first is 1983 yeah. when we lost our Secretary for Defense, mm -hmm. uh, Comrade Peter Enias Nanyemba, yeah. uh, who died in a car accident in Lubango mm -hmm. on that very fateful day. Yeah. Peter Nanyemba is the architecture of building a plan to a level where it was a force to be reckoned with. Mm. He has created structures, prop structures, for us to be able to face the South African Defense Force. Yeah. As it's well known that uh, the South African Defense Force was the most powerful uh, defense force on the continent of Africa. Yeah. And you look at us, we were very small, very young, inexperienced because the South Africans said also those who fought in the Second World War. Yes. We never fought any other war, but this was our first war. Yes. Uh, in the plan. So in Anyemba, we always cherish what he did for building a plan in, uh, in Angola. Yeah. Uh, he was a visionary man. Mm. He was not uh, trained like most of us, but he had that capacity to show mm. as if he was more trained than most of us. Mm -hmm. uh, he was so talented that Nanyemba uh, is a foresighted man. He was given a, a vision mm. to see where we wanted to, to go mm. and what we wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. That is uh, uh, Peter Nanyemba. Mm -hmm. And we always would want to remember him. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that seven years ago now uh, that he died. Mm -hmm. So we would want to to honor him, yes. especially me. We are the products of of Nanyemba. Yes. When we became the structures we created, and when we were appointed as as you said, I was a former plant chief of staff. We were appointed uh, in the in the military council. He yes. made it uh, that we as young people were also uh, brought into the military council mm -hmm. because the military council only consisted of the comrades who were there before us, yeah. the Mbulungangas, the Horonjabas, and uh, uh, many other comrades, the Dimo, Amambo, mm. and uh, of course uh, 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 Peter 
uh, Nanyemba himself. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So he thought it that uh, it was better to reinforce with young blood. Yes. So we were young blood. We were taken in in 1977. Yeah. We, it was me, it was Charlie, it was Philip Ainana who was late. It was, uh, it was uh, Andrew Intaba who was also late. Yes. It is uh, 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 Kamba Kashirongo yeah. uh, is still alive. So these are some of the comrades who were brought in, in the military council as young people. Mm -hmm. But with the vision of Nanyemba wanting to see how to uh, rejuvenate yeah. the, 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 the People's Liberation Army uh -huh. of Namibia. Uh -huh. So secondly, it's not only Nanyemba, there are two things as I said. Mm -hmm. Secondly, is the 1st April 1989. Yes. When most of our forces, the last battles which we fought with the South African Defense Force yeah. was 1st April 1989. Of course, most of uh, this you, you know, yes. uh, there are some now uh, mass graves, mm -hmm. like the one at on the Shifirwa, that's the most uh, well-known one. Yeah. There's one also which is was just found recently, last year, mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of last year, in uh, in Kunene. Yeah. In Kunene. So the the Minister of Veteran Affairs is uh, was busy to look at. I went there to look at the incidents and so forth. Mm -hmm. Of course, first April, as I'm talking, is a former plan chief of staff. I can't. It can't just pass and without being mentioned. Yes. Uh, I know, and I'm very well, uh, <laughs> I know very well, uh, very confidently, that these are the people I ordered to go, organized, ordered them to go and be in the positions where they, they were. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I can't just leave it. Yes. These are most of these comrades who sacrificed on that fateful day, yeah. 1989, they were the survivors of most of the battles we have fought. Yes. The best of the best of our, of our uh, uh, fighters and the commanders mm -hmm. who survived most of the battles sacrificed during this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this day in 1981, uh -huh. 31 years ago. 31 years so ago. you can't, you had your comrades, you shook hands, okay, we will meet because they were saying, okay, well, there will be a ceasefire, and uh, of course we'll meet, establish bases there, and mm. so forth. Mm. So it came to be the contrary. Mm. And as a result, we had to lose quite a number of people. I, I think the first April, as it is now, we look at it for us. You look at the 26th of August 1966. Mm. That was the first way the first uh, uh, the, fi the first uh, bullet was fired in mm -hmm. 1966. Yeah. But 1st April also was the last day yeah. when the last bullet, bullet yeah. was also fi fired. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What is the relation between 1st April 89 and 26 August 1966? Yeah. It seems that uh, in our history, 1st uh, April it's like a missing page. Yes. So for us, for us, we who are, were there, and also to see the corporates who calls you in the week before and so forth, who are the survivors of the first April? Mm -hmm. There are commanders and uh, combatants who are survivors of these battles, mm -hmm. uh, still there. And just to ask, what are we doing? Why is nothing being done? Mm -hmm. Why is nobody mentioning about it? Mm -hmm. You were the chief of staff. What are you doing in the Soviet? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So for me, I, 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 well, people who say, oh, why is he mentioning it now only? Why didn't he? Yeah, people want to be told in the corners and so forth. <laughs> but I think it's, it's a high time that we, yeah. who are the former plan combatants, mm. tell our stories publicly yes. and not in corners or uh, under roofs and what have you. I agree. Because people don't know. Yeah. When you speak about it, people don't take it up. And then when you talk about it, 
then you you are why he didn't he tell us and so forth. Why should we always tell yes. if everybody knows mm -hmm. what was first April? Definitely. So so it's 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 not of me to say it uh, because history the history of course especially plan history mm. is also partially being told yes uh, the plan history is not recorded somewhere okay there are some people are saying okay you must write books yeah we are writing we are writing yeah. but at the least it must be told publicly also yes. on national days on heroes days yeah. as if as if this uh, plan uh, just uh, was just like a, a one week operation and so forth yeah. it, it is uh, why swap got so much legitimacy why was swap so famous mm. is because it had an armed wing fighting a very strong strong defense force strong, on the continent strong defense so, force yes uh, defense force yes. so that that's why Swapo was so famous in the whole world. I know. I know. Yes, that's why. So, 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 so let me, let me, let me, let me uh, ask you, General, uh, Major General. So, uh, n the first of April, nineteen eighty-nine. Uh, yes. there, there are so many versions as to what exactly transpired. Uh, you, as a military man, what, what, what is your recollection of what happened that led to that carnage? No, I, I was I was uh, the chief of staff, not only the military man. Yes. I was the person responsible. Yes. I know exactly what what happened. Yeah. Of course, the notion the notion there was that uh, most of the forces there were forces somewhere on the borders there. Yeah. So these forces have to be reinforced in order for them because in the United Nations resolution implementation of resolution 435 there was a, a say of that the forces will be confined to base mm. both south africans and and the plan mm. swap forces will be confined to base but i think the south africans d did not adhere to the confinement of forces mm. to base they wanted us to be confined only into angola mm -hmm. so that they claim would claim that uh, there were no fo swap forces inside Namibia or whatever. Mm. So this is what has transpired. Uh, these forces had no had no combat orders to fight mm. because we thought that the United Nations would come and confine them to certain areas where they were mm. because they were about four or five, six groups mm. which were in Namibia so that we thought they would be it's just uh, by surprise that the South Africans uh, engaged them and then we have to tell them you must defend yourselves yes it's only that you have to defend yourself because they have radios who were in conduct yes. and so forth so that they have to 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 defend themselves if yeah. the South Africans attack them that was the only order, but, so not, were, but not for them to attack this African. So they were the, these groups were armed as, as they, they, entered, oh, well, as they well, entered Namibia. They were well armed. They were very well armed. So in then, the case, in the case they were attacked, the city happened. Yes, they have to defend themselves. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, General, uh, just stepping away a little bit from the the, the face of um, April. of April, mm -hmm. I know that you have been on record so many times um, uh, rejecting calls to uh, sort of reward the former Kufut uh, members. You have been on record saying it shouldn't be done. Why is that? Uh, uh, because I'm, 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 I'm not thinking of what you have gone through, the yeah, wars and all Trevor. these things. Yeah. You know, awards are given to people who have achieved something which was being a uh, sort of yeah if you were seeking for independence yes and you were fighting for independence and there were those who were fighting against independence yes why should you award them why are, what are you awarding them for yeah if, if they were against what we were all yearning to achieve yes they were they were the blockades to achieve that uh, that independence o are you awarding them for having delayed our independence or what are you awarding them for apparently it's reconciliation uh, reconciliation does not do away with the, what we were doing no reconciliation is to just to to forgive them but yeah. not to forget yeah we have forgiven them for the crimes they have committed yeah. 
for they have also uh, aligned with the with the enemy of the Namibian people as mm. as a, a, a citizen as a patriot of this country and you go and join the foreign forces to fight your own people mm. and that that one we can't do mm. worldwide people who have fought on the side of of the enemy yes. when people became well, the victors will not award those because we are the, we are the victors mm. Uh, they, uh, many, many stories are being told by the South Africans, the South African Defense Force. Okay, the, we did not go to war to win battles. Mm. We went to war to win that war, mm. not battles. If they won this battle, they won that battle, they won that battle, it means they, they have not won the war. Mm. Because they were saying there will be no Swapo flag in Namibia. Mm. There will be no independence under Swapo in Namibia. Mm. But today, we are here. We brought independence, and the the red flag, which I call the flag, red flag, is ho was hosted here yes. in Namibia. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, they they now concentrate only on on battles and battles. Okay, in the Second World War, what can talk of of the of the of the Germans having fought the the the, the, the Russians at uh, Leningrad? There were sixty kilometers to go to. To, to, to Moscow, yeah. but what happened? From Moscow, they were driven back to Berlin and the, the Nazi government, the Nazi regime collapsed. It mm. means they were not victors. Mm. And those people could not be also awarded for having fought the Germans or having fought the, 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 the Americans or the British or the what, whatever, mm. Mm. you see? So these are battles, but not wars. Yes. We, they have won the war in the, during the Second World War. We have won the war during the liberation struggle. Indeed. So we are the victors. So they can't be awarded. Yeah. Awarded for what? Yeah. I want it for they were defeated. <laughs> Why should we do it? I want them. Now, General, you hinted uh, in your in your earlier remarks about uh, you you specifically used the word you know that you some there are people who want you to say th some of these things in corners that why didn't you say it before and what not and 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 this brings me to the nine to the twenty eighteen um, incident if I may call it that way at the funeral of Mbulunganga, Matthias Ndakolo where you said you were speaking on behalf of the friends of Bulunganga and you said that uh, you reminded government uh, and the leaders the leadership to say they must recognize better their war veterans the the, the combatants uh, and you you came under fire from president Hagegen, from Pres president Bahama in particular uh, do you stand by your words what was what were you complaining about as a matter of fact well uh, uh, to I I I I am a, I'm a, I'm a freedom fighter. Yes. I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor of with other survivors also. Survivor of those comrades who have sacrificed. And to see also uh, uh, President Pohamba, I don't know, you know, sometimes uh, when they are that uh, some people just come here when they see crowds and they talk and so forth. That's what he called mm. me. Yes. That's what he said to me. Yes. Uh, but you see, when you have these comrades, the pioneer veterans, yes. who were given uh, honorary ranks, yes. it's when I was a minister of, of defense. Then President Pamba called me to organize 26 August. Yeah. And then I, I said, what is the significance of the 26th August? Then he looked at me with wide eyes. He said, yeah. don't you know what is 26th August? Yeah. I said, I know, but what is the significance? Is it the date or is the people who made who made the 26th to happen? Mm. I, I made a, a reference to John Nangudu. Yeah. John Nangudu is in, just in that location. Mm. He's just uh, the, a counselor. And what you, what have we honored them mm. for, for having made the 26? We celebrate only 26. Do we celebrate it with them? We celebrate them yes. for having made it possible that 26 is being celebrated now. Yes. said, oh, this is what you are saying. I said, yes, we can. I said that the defense, we can, because there are honorary ranks being, being given. And the, this, it is in the act of the Ministry of Defense from colonel up to a major. Mm. We can do that. So, oh, 
Yeah, then you can do it. That's my initiative. What, what did I not do? Yeah. When I spoke there, I spoke also of graves of, 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 of former fighters. Yes. And marked graves. Yes. Still, when I was still a defense, I took a team, we took a team, assigned it to all the regions, uh. and compiled a catalog of all the, of all the, of all the graves mm. of the of the of the comrades who died and that catalog you know some of the graves they are bushes which have mm. uh, grown on those and i took it to him he said oh this is this is i took it to him and this i give it to him mm. if he did not leave it to 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 come the have that's not my problem but mm. i gave it yeah. i think in the office of the of the of the veteran affairs yeah. late 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 uh, late, late uh, Nicky Yapo yeah. was there, yeah. and he is also this catalog I gave also him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, what else do you want? I'm talking of things <laughs> which I have done, yes, it's not out of the blue, yes. I, I'm talking of things, and yet, also, still, mm. there are people. If, if you hear the voices, mm. what has happened when I was shunned at that meeting, yeah. the voices of the of the fighters, mm. it's, it's, people are angry. Yes. I said, why, why don't they want Namor to tell the truth? Yeah. I was telling the truth. I was not attacking anyone. Mm. It became that I said, if I was attacking President Trump, I addressed if Sam Nyoma, mm. the the command, the former commander in chief of Plan. Yes. I said, your pioneer uh, fighters are buried in unmarked graves mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What is being done? And also and so forth and mm -hmm. so forth. Mm -hmm. But it became a, a, a personal issue, mm -hmm. which is which wasn't. Yeah. Well, that wasn't. I was uh, really attacked, but uh, yeah. I, I, I will still keep on talking about the combatants of the liberation struggle. Indeed. The war veterans. I will, because I'm part of them. Yes, yes. I will not. Uh, I will not divorce them. Uh, the nobody will, will tell me to divorce them. I, 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 I have, I have sacrificed my youth, mm -hmm. long time, and and still, I will sacrifice for them. Yeah. Because I, I, I fear nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fear nothing. Definitely. Yeah. Now, since then, your 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 popularity also in the party has uh, declined. You did not make it to parliament. Uh, and your, your, your ministerial career also perhaps ends there unless you come back later. But uh, what, what, do you attribute what, what happened there? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, well, well. Of electoral college. I, I think those, those uh, are, well, in politics you, you, you climb, you decline, you what, what. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, recently I said, uh, politics, politics is a, I, I, I served as a military. Mm. In the military, when you serve, when you have your comrades, you trust each other. You have confidence in each other because you can't betray each other. Yes. If you betray, you will not succeed in what you are doing. Mm -hmm. I went into diplomacy also. In diplomacy, of course, as a, as a, a diplomat of a country, you, you try to outwit other diplomats in order for you to achieve you wa what you want to, to put forward. Mm -hmm. If there's an issue about your country, yes. you, you will always uh, forge to to tell what it is and so forth. Mm. Uh, so that's uh, different. But in politics, what I realized, politics is a is a game of betrayal. Mm. Uh, there you you nobody trusts you and you trust no one. Mm. Or if you trust somebody, you will be betrayed at the end of the day. Mm. Mm. So that, that is a. a, a a game of uh, interests yes. and uh, there is no confidence that uh, you have somebody with you who can support you in whatever yeah. so if there are issues and, and they, they can be influences also mm. for you not to to make it and so forth you have been popular what maybe you've done something which mm. people don't like mm. so let's be that be it yeah it's it's not a, it's not me first to to lose in the electoral college or not to become a minister. Mm. No, it's not. But for also for me, I'm, I'm happy. That so you are you are you are going out with your with your head held high. You are. Uh, I, 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 uh, you know, Toivo, I I I dedicated my life for 50 years mm. to this country, to the people, to fight. Before I went, you know, some people went went abroad. They become 
uh, genuinely swap members when they were abroad. Yeah. I did not go, I was a swap member here mm -hmm. because it is us who even established the swap youth league after the Tanga consultative conference. Mm -hmm. It is us here with the Jerry Kanjos in Wolfis Bay, Ndarika Mati, uh, and many other other comrades mm. uh, Tumbo and Daipa when we went back to there to, 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 to the north mm. and it is us also the youth you see the the, 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 the the missing pages also it is us the youth who have organized the strike in Namibia mm. but you will never hear being mentioned mm. that the strike general strike which 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 abolished the contract labor system here yeah, mm. was organized by these guys and so forth. Nobody mentions <laughs> it. it. It's it's like a deliberate. Yeah. Uh, but people, the history, actually history in Namibia, especially in Swapo, history is from the 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 December 10, yeah. and then it goes to to Ongurumbashi, yeah. and then from Ongurumbashi it jumps to to Kwitu Kanavale, which yes. Kwitu Kanavale also. We are the, the ones to tell about to quit Kalavari yeah. and then to independence. Mm -hmm. All other other major events which we have made are not mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's it, it become a, a lost pages. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I think we will ourselves now tell yeah. it as I said. Yeah. We should tell it publicly so that people know what we were doing, yeah. which we are being asked to tell under roofs and so forth, which <laughs> does make sense also. Which, which brings me to my last question, uh, General, yeah. uh, Major General, yeah. uh, that uh, what is next for Major General Namolo? Are you are you going to, uh, to rest? Are you going to farm? Are you going to look after your animals or write books? Or are you going to work your way back into politics? I, I think I think my time, well, 50 years, I'm 70 now. Yeah. I, 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 my, I, my birthday was on the 28th February. Yes. I'm 70 years now, as I sit here, mm. 70 years. Yeah. So I have done, uh, I think that long journey yes. in this country, the long journey of dedicating your life. And uh, everything I did, I did it to the best of my ability. Yes. Possibly there could be other people who could do it better, mm. but the assignment I was given, I did it to the best of my ability mm. with all the comrades who were with me. Yes. So I think I'll, I've done better. Yes. Uh, possibly I will, I will, I will rest. Uh, I, have a, I, have, I have a place in Kavango, yeah. which I always, U.S. journalist, right? Namoro grape land in Kavango. Yes. I have never grape the land in Kavango. Of course, you know, we, we, we are so disadvantaged. Yes. Okay, people were resettled, we were never resettled. The people were given whatever, uh, uh, in, in fish, fish, what? quotas yeah. and what have you. Yeah. We were never considered, we were never given. So we had to, to look where we can find survival mm. for ourselves. So I went to Kavango to, actually I did not go to look for a land. Mm. It is Homba, Shitendu. Mm. Shitendu. When I went there, I went with one of the commanders of Typhoon, mm. the Typhoon I was sending to Kavango. I went to thank him because in my diaries I have, I have his name, mm. how he was supporting my, 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 my soldiers when they were there. Mm. He gave them money he gave them a radio to listen to what the enemy was saying. And I recorded it in my, in my diary. I still have it. It will appear in my, in my book, yes. in my memoirs. I have it. So when I went there, I went just to thank him. And he asked me, do you have a farm? Yeah. I said, no, Tatakuru, I don't have a farm. Yeah. Why? I said, no, I don't have a farm. Yeah. I don't have money to buy a farm. I don't have any. But he said some people were resettled. I said, I was not part of the resettlement. Mm. I applied, applied, applied. but. I was not successful. Yes. So he said, okay, you have no land there. I will give you land. Yes. This is what he said. I will give you land. You fought for this land yes. and you have no land. I have even given better land to some people who have not done anything for this country. <laughs> but I will give you a land, a yeah. virgin land somewhere there where there are no people. Or maybe you are afraid to go into the forest. I said, no, I lived my life in the forest. <laughs> so he said, okay, yeah. I will give you land. And then he asked, he said, subheadmen to mm. go with me and show me, they measured and, and so forth. Yeah. And this, I have a, 
uh, uh, have uh, uh, a, a document mm. which this certify that I was given this land okay. for 99 years. Okay. So people are saying, so I'm going to look after my cattle, yes. I, my children, but I will also write. I'm, I'm, write I'm, I'm going to write. Indeed. Because the, the, you see, as I said, history has got so many missing pages, yes. especially on the issue of blood. Yes. Even if you go to our museums, the museum, the National Museum, if you go to the, to the floor where plan is, yeah. there is nothing. The other thing is also that people don't ask us. Mm -hmm. Maybe they've forgotten that we were in charge. Yes. They don't come to me. But I, I give you an example. If you want to know how did the, uh, the business of Mr. Pupukvets, Harold Pupukvets, mm -hmm. started, will you go to a cleaner or you go to Mr. Harold Pupukvets? Yes. You go to Mr. Harold to answer yes. that he will tell you all this. But you know, in the case of plan, People go to very low people, they don't know what has happened, what, what yeah. and they, you have never also, even yeah. our national broadcaster, yes. whether it's TV or radio, mm. they have never taken an exclusive interview mm. with us who were in charge, yes. whether it is Jeno uh, Awara, Komisar Lumumba, Malima, or Namolo, or Shali, or many other comrades we can say, put them. They have not dedicated. Now there's, there's also what they are saying. There's a team writing history. They are writing history, but do they ask it yes. to some of us? No. I have to stop. Don't. I have to so, stop you, the general. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Thank, thank you very much for the insightful uh, information. Thank we you. wish uh, we can't wait for your book. As a matter of fact, your memoirs. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, but uh, yes. Uh, so that was. Uh, uh, Major General Charles Namolo speaking to us about uh, the events of uh, 1 April 1983 and, nine, and 1989. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the interview like I did. Uh, good night.